Hi, this is Suzy, Suzy Gemini, and today's video is a subscriber request. Guys, I received a lovely letter a couple weeks ago, and my subscriber, who gave me permission to say their name, is Erwin Varga, and he writes, or she writes, or they write, Greetings from Undora. I found your YouTube channel and I like how you approach the astrology for friends thing. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you, Erwin. I've already considered myself a friend of yours for a month. I would like to ask you nicely to make a video with the ascendants and descriptions. And one more thing, my soul planet is Saturn. Could you do in the future, like the Ascendants, to make Saturn in the houses, Saturn in the signs? Thank you very much with esteem and special consideration, Erwin from Romania. Well, Erwin, I will get to a video probably in a couple weeks covering the Ascendants, but I thought this was a perfect opportunity to continue my series read with me series and we're going to tackle saturn saturn lord of time in the 3d world father time saturn is the planet of restriction and boundaries and control for this 3d world the good news about saturn it's been my personal experience as you get older, and if you're on a very, very high frequency, and you've learned some of your karmic lessons, and maybe had some karmic debts, I find Saturn can be very helpful. At least Saturn has been for me in my life. And since you said Saturn is your soul planet, I'm thinking you might feel the same. So, with that said, I'm going to go between Saturn in the 12 signs and Saturn in any of the 12 houses. Let's start with Saturn in any of the 12 houses. And this is by Ellen McCaffrey, uh, the Astrological Home Study Course from 1931. Thank you guys for watching. Saturn in the first house. Reserved serious, conscientious, patient, aristocratic, desire for power, limitations during childhood, wants to go forward but is timid in early life. Saturn the second house, anxiety concerning money, earns it through hard work. His or her lesson is the conquest of fear in conquest a desire to economize unjustly invest safely afflicted causes poverty Saturn in the third house patient tact matter-of-fact difficulties among relatives especially in early life sometimes lack of early education Saturn in the fourth house, anxiety concerning old age, discontent, oversensitive, forebodings, unhappy in home, sometimes early death of a parent or difficulty with parent, old people in the home. Saturn in the fifth house, sorrow through love or children, speculates wisely, never rash, may lose through timidity and delay. Saturn in the sixth house, unpopular in, em in employment or government employ. Okay, so that was Saturn in the sixth house, unpopular in employment, very exacting, but reliable. Success in 
government employ, so government employment. Saturn in the sev seventh house, difficulties and disappointments in partnership and marriage. One or the other partner has a feeling of arrogance, superiority, sometimes disparity in age or temperament. Saturn in the eighth house, no financial gain through marriage, disappointments and legacies in money, resentful, death by old age. Saturn in the ninth house, orthodox, distrustful of new ideas, earnest, de desires to know everything thoroughly. Ex that was Saturn in the ninth house. Thank you. Saturn in the tenth house accepts responsibility and desires it, demands respect, much arrogance and ambition, melancholy, jealous, trouble through father if afflicted, may lose position. Saturn in the 11th house, reserved among friends, must be respected, feels responsibility towards friends, hopes and wishes rarely realized, trouble through children since this is opposite of Leo's house. Saturn in the 12th house, morbidly sensitive, inclined to isolate himself or herself, fearful of fate, needs to cultivate hope. Now again guys, we know this book is from 1931. It's not a modern book, so the language is older. And also I would add, just because you may have Saturn, you know, in the second house, that does not mean you're going to have many problems. Uh, Saturn, you know, produces restrictions and boundaries, but we can't just look at one planet in any, you know, in the chart. We have to look at the whole picture of the chart. Okay, now I'm going to go to Saturn in the 12 signs. Saturn in Aries limits the enterprise and flamboyance of Aries, but makes it more stable gives ability to concentrate the mind and to organize the ventures. Saturn and Taurus, care and economy in money matters, rarely moves from hometown, very great willpower and persistence. Saturn in Gemini, plodding type of mind, often unhappy among relatives and friends, dislikes travel, often melancholy. Well, I have Saturn in Gemini, and I can say I like to travel. So again, not everything is going to be exact, because we have to look at the whole chart. Saturn in Cancer. Limitations are usually in the home circle. Inability to express the emotions to the full loneliness in old age. Saturn in Leo. Sorrow through love or children. Sometimes deprived of affection gives pride that carries through affliction. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay, Saturn in Virgo. Not popular in employment. Often has to work without much recognition. Cannot tolerate inaccuracy, often has to work for an older person or the father. Saturn in Libra, sorrow through marriage or partnership, often gives a jealous partner or one who limits the need of. Saturn in Scorpio, philosophic understanding of life, but usually through sorrow and death of loved ones loss of legacies and financial trouble. Saturn in Sagittarius, thoughtful outlook on life, feeling of responsibility in religion, orthodox in religion, not fond of travel, and not lucky in travel. Saturn in Capricorn, extreme ambition, but gets little joy out of it. As a rule, 
makes enemies and causes jealousy in the in the attainment of ambition a great organizer sorry about that guys saturn in aquarius a feeling of isolation when amongst friends sorrow through inability to obtain hopes and wishes interested in governmental work saturn in pisces periods of isolation and sorrow fear of illness and also psychic matters trouble through enemies sometimes early loss of parents that's why saturn gets a bad rap these are the things that people fear of saturn but like i mentioned earlier saturn if we didn't have boundaries in life uh it'd be complete chaos i actually view saturn as a stern father i also want to mention erwin that saturn uh rules bones and teeth and because my saturn is conjunct to my son i've had bone and teeth issues so this is just an overview of Saturn I could do a whole nother video talking about things like if you have a day chart versus a night chart I personally have a day chart I find Mars to be more malefic than Saturn and so we need to look at a bunch of things but hope this helped thank you guys for listening and watching please like and subscribe and thank you again. I'm always willing uh, to answer subscribers' questions. And thank you for writing me such a nice email. Much love, everybody. Brightest blessings.